Hello, everyone. You may have a spouse or you may be trying to get married. There is a verse in Ephesians 6 and 12. And let me see if I can go to it right quick. Okay. Ephesians 6 and 12, Bible Gateway, King James Version. Okay. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So what is that saying? Chances are, if you are having a problem, it is not so much directly the human. So I think this is saying behind many or all of our problems is from demons. So that problem you have with your fiance, that problem you have with your spouse, is it possible they are being manipulated, controlled, influenced, or whatever by a demon or demons? Isn't it possible? So if this be the case, does it make the sense to verbally insult your spouse? Does it make sense to beat on your spouse? Does it make sense to do things to harm your spouse in a very bad way? Does it make sense to do that? No. If it is a demon, why not attack the demon? Why are you attacking your spouse? Why are you attacking your fiance? Why? Well, you know, he said this, she said that, they had no business in doing this or that. Listen, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Don't your spouse have blood and flesh? Don't your fiance have flesh and blood? Yes, right? So if they do, in a sense, they are not your problem, but demons, the demonic. What if you found out there are witches praying against your marriage? What if you found out the number of demons coming against your marriage? What... You can point the finger at Johnny and Sarah and Caleb and Benny and Jacob. You can point the finger at those people, but is it really them? So if your spouse acts up, don't act up with them. If your spouse is doing wrong, don't do wrong with them because ultimately, what? It is more than likely, I would say, it is a demon interfering, messing with, I guess I can say, with that person. Chances are. So if you want to get that person to understand, let's say your spouse or fiance it's not willing to reason with you, not willing to um, make sense or whatever else like that. Okay, you fight it spiritually because it is probably a demon or demons or witches or whatever behind that person acting in that way. And if you are doing wrong, <laughs> it is probably the same with you. Don't fall for the trap. Let's say there is a puppeteer and a demon have strings attached to you and have strings attached to your spouse. 
Don't let a demon play with you like that. Be able to withstand attack and do what is right, even though you may have to go through some pain. You may have to go through some suffering, but be the one to do what is right until God works things out with you and your spouse or your fiance. Do what is biblically correct. Don't be a puppet to a demon because I think that is what many of us are to demons. Let's not fall in the trap. Let me stop here. May God bless you.